Why did you kill me? What are you doing here? Why don't they keep you there, lock you up? Gabriel, excuse me, but I'd like to talk to my lovely wife alone. What am I going to tell, Tad? You'll tell him I'm innocent. Another lie. You really believe I did it, is that it? I know you. And I know your temper. You knew that Randall was going to the police about you. Make you very happy to see me with a noose around my neck, wouldn't it? You've hated me ever since I wouldn't let you take Tad with you. All of this is going to make you very glad. How can I be glad? My brother is dead! I grieve for him too, although you find that very difficult to believe. Why should I? You've never shown a human emotion in your life. No pity, no love. Only that mind of yours, cruel, devious. Only interested in the things it shouldn't be interested in. So I'm guilty of witchcraft. Is that it, my dear? Quentin, I pleaded with you to give up the occult. I begged you to stop reading those books and to stay away from that laboratory. I knew it would come to this. I knew it. It hasn't ended yet. And it won't be ended now. My son, my poor son, he'll grow up with the fact that his father is... If I am his father, dear, don't you think it's about time to tell me uh, whom you meant when you said that I wasn't his father? If I am to be uh, so much of an embarrassment to Tad? How callous you are. How cruel. Oh, yes. Yes, you use those words for me, my dear. Well, don't you think that it was cruel and callous to tell me that I wasn't Tad's father? You accuse me just like Trask does. Now you believe me that if I am callous, we are evenly matched. Randall Drew visited here this evening. Yes. And he spoke with you? And my wife Edith, yes. What was the purpose of his visit? Uh, he was merely paying a visit here. Well, after all, Samantha is his sister. So, his visit was merely social? Merely social, yes. Your brother Quentin has already told me that you said he was on his way to the police. Oh? Randall's reasons for going to the police must have been mentioned. Oh, yes, yes, no, Randall thought the police weren't concerned enough about the animal attacks in the woods. So? You were coming to see us at midnight to censure us? Well, that was very much like Randall, And yes. completely untrue. He's been in town for quite a few days, and we've not heard from him. You're lying to protect your brother, aren't you? Well, Quentin can protect himself. Then why do you bother? I think I'll have a little talk with Mr. Trask sometime before I see you again. But I will see you again. Yes, I didn't think I should leave until the constable makes his decision. Where is the constable now? He just left Gabriel and he's gone up to see Quentin. When he comes down here, what am I going to do, Lamar? Whatever your conscience dictates, my dear. My son. Would it not be worse for him to grow up in this atmosphere of evil when I think of the heinous practices that have gone on oh, in this please, house? Please, Lamar. Painful as it is for you, Samantha, you must protect your son from his own father. Yes, I must, mustn't I? I never really believed that Quentin's interest in the black arts was anything but a foolish eccentricity. But I must now. I do. Samantha, you have just made the most important choice of your life. You have crossed the river of indecision and joined those on the other side who would be saved. Oh, Lamar, I loved Quentin once. I really did. Your love could not save him, Samantha, but you must remember that you tried. Mrs. Collins? Yes, Constable. Could I see you alone? 
Of course. It's a difficult time for you, I'm sorry. Thank you for being so understanding. Were well, your brother and Mr. Collins friends? Yes. Close friends? No, I couldn't say that. Was there any enmity between them? Long-standing enmity? No. Are you sure, Mrs. Collins? What do you mean? I'm sorry to bring this up, but I have to. Some years ago, your brother was friends with a Miss Mills. Yes, I believe I do remember that, but what does that have to do with this? Well, it was rumored about that your brother left Collinsport because of a disagreement with Miss Mills. A disagreement in which your husband was the central figure. Please, do I have to go through this? Yes, I'm sorry. Was your brother and Mr. Collins friends after your brother's returns? Yes, yes. Did your brother ever hint to you that he suspected your husband of witchcraft? No. Randall would never have done that without proof. Oh, why did I not stay here this evening? This never would have happened. None of it. Randall would have come to me and this never would have happened. Never. Gabriel, do you believe Quentin is guilty? Quentin says no. But do you believe him? Trask, I don't have to answer to you. Do you prefer to go on living here surrounded by his madness? His evil? How long do you think you will be spared, Gabriel? You're in danger even now. You're living in a house with a murderer. Now, Quentin would never harm me. Are you willing to risk your life on that? And Edith's life? Look, he is the only person I have even felt remotely close to. That is your greatest danger. You see, Quentin will enmesh you in his evil, and you will not even know it until it's too late. Think of your children, Gabriel, if you will not think of yourself. Gabriel, you must tell the constable what Quentin said before he rushed out after Randall. You must, or you will be thought a member of his people. Are you? Are you already a member of Quentin's coven? No. No. Well, then you must prove it. Constable, Gabriel would like to describe in greater detail the events of this evening. Yes, Mr. Collins? Constable, I, I don't know how to say this. Just tell me the truth. Right. Randall knew about the witchcraft. There was a lot of trouble here between Mordecai Grimes and Quentin. And Quentin was in a rage when Mordecai left after accusing him of witchcraft. And then Quentin left the house. I, I don't know where he went. Mordecai met Randall in the woods. Mordecai swore that someone was trying to kill him. He swore it was Quentin. They found a note pinned to a tree by a knife. And on the note was the mark of the devil. Similar, no doubt, to the one found by Randall's body. Well, go on, Mr. Collins. Well, Randall brought the paper into Edith and me. He wanted to know what we knew. We told him nothing. He said, where's Quentin? And Quentin wasn't there. Well, he, he said he couldn't wait. And he met Trask. You see, Randall told me that he was going to investigate Quentin, and if he found evidence of witchcraft, he would meet me and we would come to the police. Well, what happened after Mr. Drew left? Well, Quentin came in. I told him of Randall's visit, of his plans to go to the police. Well, go on, man, go on. Well, well, there was a look on Quentin's face. What kind of a look? A look that said that he knew what he was going to do. And he said, I will stop him. And then he left. Were those his exact words? You know how I wish that they were. Mr. Collins? Have you uh, questioned everybody? I have. And? There's nothing I can do, Mr. Collins. You are under arrest for murder. Jim, why am I accused of murder? On what grounds? That will all come out at the trial. Now, what reason would I have for killing that man? Can you tell me that? A man has to have a motive for a murder. From what I've heard here tonight, it appears that you 
might have a motive. But of course I might have, but I don't. Jim, can't you see what they're trying to do? Someone's trying to destroy me. Mr. Collins, look, it'll be better for all of us if you'll just come along with me quietly. All right. But I'd like to see my son first. Of course. But try to make it brief, Mr. Collins. Dad? Dad? Yes, Father? You come into the drawing room, please. Yes, Father. Oh, hello, Mr. Ward. Hello, Ted. Something wrong? I'll uh, just wait for you outside, sir. Why is the constable here? Is it about Uncle Randall? Have they found, found the man who... No, 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 they, uh, they haven't found the man. <laughs> Few people think they have, but uh, they haven't. Mr. Ward's just doing what he must do at the present time. You know, uh, I love you very much. You know that, don't you? You know that there isn't anything I wouldn't do to make sure that you don't get hurt by anyone or, or anything. Sometimes, uh, uh, under certain circumstances, uh, well, the world seems very cruel at times. And, uh, well, we've got to be very strong and make it all good again. They're not going to take you away, are they? No, not for long. They don't think you did it. No. No, but Tad, I... Uh, I do have to go away with Mr. Ward for a while. But now, now you listen to me. I didn't do anything wrong. No matter what you, uh, no matter what you hear or uh, see, I want you to believe nothing bad about me. I know you didn't do anything. They can't take you away. You wouldn't do something like that. You listen to me, boy. I'm gonna be back here before you even know I'm gone. Besides, between me and you, they... they don't have much of a case against me. Now, while I'm away, I want you to cooperate with Miss Harridge. Because she is very fond of you. You do that for me? Yes, sir. Good night. Good night, Father. Are you ready, Mr. Collins? In a minute, I... I'd like to talk to my son's governess. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Jim, and you've got kids of your own. I just want to make sure that he's taken care of. Well, I... I guess a few more minutes won't do any harm. Thanks, sir. I'll go find him. I'm sorry, sir. I'll have to go with you. Don't let them take him away. You can't let them take him away, Grandfather. My boy, you must calm down. I don't understand what you're talking about. Take who away? My father. They think he murdered Uncle Randall. Quentin? They're taking him off to jail now. No, Quentin. Oh, no. Dear God, don't let it be true. Dear God, don't let it be true. <laughs> I don't know where she could have gone. I'm afraid we can't wait any longer. Well, I, uh, I've got to leave her a note. I just heard. Why did you do it? Well, if you kindly tell me what you're talking about, perhaps I could explain. Why did you murder Randall Drew? Did I? I just heard from Trask. That I murdered him? No, that he is dead. And you first assumed that I was responsible. What did he know? 
What did he discover? The fact is, Charles, that Randall Drew discovered a little too much. He found the mask. He broke open the lock on the box where I had hidden it. And you had good cause to do away with him? Yes. But I didn't murder him. Difficult to believe, isn't it? Especially what I've done after Desmond and Lorna Bell. And, of course, poor old Mordecai's cows. No, my friend. I did not murder Randall Drew. But the devil's mark was on Randall. I know. And Mordecai in the woods, whoever followed him, left it there. I know that, too. It seems as though we have a friend. A friend? Someone wanted Randall dead. Whatever his reasons were, doesn't really matter as long because they happen to coincide with our cause. One of the coven, do you think? I think, no. No, I'm sure it's someone quite on the outside of our little group. Someone that wanted to hurt Quentin Collins as we did. <laughs> Isn't it amazing timing? Soon Quentin Collins will have no head at all and I will be master of Collinwood. You forget Daniel. Oh, no, my friend. Not at all. Yes? And how do you plan to deal with him? Don't you really know, Charles? Well, you just come to Collinwood with me, and I'll show you what I plan to do to Daniel Collins. I want to talk to you alone. You get out. Oh, Mr. Collins, I... Shut up and get out! He's my son, this is my house, and you're not welcome in it. Out! I said to myself over and over, Dear God, don't let it be true. How could it not be true? I warned you against your strange fascination for the occult, against your need to know things beyond what our finite minds are incapable of comprehending. But oh no, you wouldn't be stopped. Father, you've been very ill. Please don't upset yourself. Do you know that I went to the top of your stairs and I had a vision? I saw you killing Lorna Bell. Does that mean nothing to you? I only know that somebody has been filling your mind with evil distortions while you have not been well. And who has been filling my mind, Quentin? Who and why? Father, if I knew the answer to that, everything would be all right. Oh, I think not, Quentin. No, there are too many unanswerable questions. What about Desmond? Is it not true that you were fighting with him shortly before he was stricken? I simply had a disagreement with a friend. And Mordecai's castle. Cattle, you've always hated him. I don't hate him. He's an unpleasant man, but I don't hate him. And I had nothing to do with the death of his cattle. How I long to believe you. But how can I? Everything points to your guilt, everything. And now this dreadful scandal. Now that you have violated our family's honor. Father, for the last time, I am innocent. Please believe that. That I, that I should have lived to know such pain, such, such sorrow. Such, oh, Father. Quentin! 